Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for the hundredth time, I'm going to tell you something you already know, and that is Wendy Williams is probably the most disrespectful individual I have ever seen on the face of the earth, and uh, that's coming from me in regards to a lot of people I've talked about, so uh, that's really saying something. Secondly, if you don't know who Wendy Williams is, let me reassure you, you're not missing anything. Wendy Williams is a network talk show host who I believe self-identifies as Skeletor's lost cousin. She, for some reason, decided to report on the passing of a TikTok star named Swavy. In the first segment, in the first few seconds of this, had to emphasize that she didn't know who he was, nobody knows who he was, and she's uh, had a problem apparently with him having more followers than her and tried to do like this whole fucking dick swinging contest. Now, I don't know about you now, I could be wrong here, but uh, when you're reporting on the passing of someone that millions and millions of people, you know, dearly loved and, you know, enjoyed their content and stuff, I don't think you should start that segment off by emphasizing that nobody in your building, including your producer, knows who they are. That's just some disrespectful, like, that's lower than the dirt. I have no idea who this is, neither does Norman, neither does one person in this building, maybe Sus does. Uh, do you know who <laughs> Swavy is? Clap. Clap if you know who Swavy is. Okay. Sus? Nah, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea <laughs> that I got going on right now. Well, he's a TikTok star. He's got more followers than me. 2.5 million. And as, <laughs> as far as TikTok, I don't use that at all. Uh uh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> so here he is. He's 19, and he was murdered Monday morning. Now, according to our friends at MediaTakeout.com, hi, Fred, the killer confessed on Instagram Live. He said that Swavy invited him out and alleges that Swavy and the friends that were with Swavy jumped him and tried to kill him. So he had a gun and did the killing. So... Very articulate of you, Wendy Williams, and this is coming from a guy who cusses in almost every single video. Wendy Williams uses her network show to just make fun of everybody who she talks about. Now you could say that I kind of do the same thing a little bit. I like to call it critiquing, but the difference is, is I go out of my way to try to make things a little lighthearted and try to be funny about it. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. You know, whatever. This individual, uh, Miss Williams here seems like just a malicious individual. She can't even fake a tear or try to even act sincere about talking to someone who passed away. This is a kid. This dude was 19 years old. And the first thing she has to talk about is the fact that he had more followers than her and wanted to emphasize that nobody in the building knew who he was. You are scum! If there's one thing that annoys me about network TV shows, is that it's the fact it's filled with a studio audience that are just practically uh, paid yes-men. Dude, I'm glad I don't have a network television show. I hope I never get offered one. Because uh, the people down in the comments, you know, have the balls to actually tell me if I fuck up a story. I'll actually look into what people say, and if it's true, I'll correct myself. That's just how you grow as a as a content creator and as a person, really. Except for deaf noodles, obviously. It seems like Wendy Williams just, uh, even the people that she surrounds her, like her co-hosts, seem to be a bunch of ass kissers. Like, what the- why? I swear, the most unlikable people are the people that surround themselves with other people that will never correct them when they're fucking up. Keep in mind, these are the best types of personalities network TV can find to host a TV show. Jesus Christ, it's no wonder network TV is dying and everybody's switching to YouTube and Netflix and Hulu. Oh my god. If there's one thing I think that is the, probably bad for your brain and for the neurons that fire in your head, it's probably watching daily shows, nightly shows, and whatever, I mean, whatever Wendy Williams even counts as. Let me ask you a question, you sitting right there at your phone, TV, and or monitor. I'm looking you right in the eyes right now, through the screen. Let me ask you, have you ever laughed 
to people like Trevor Noah or fucking um, Stephen Colbert. These people all look soulless inside. Yeah, they make a bunch of money, but I mean, you gotta get a bunch of money to you fucking just shove all your fucking beliefs to the side and do an unfunny network television show where your jokes are written to you by people who are also unfunny. I wanted to talk about Wendy Williams, but this turned into a rant against network TV. Holy shit, I apologize. There's some things he said that I wouldn't have said myself. Very disrespectful stuff, and uh, hopefully she just, she, hopefully she just goes away. Okay, TV network's done. We're sick of it. Go away. All right. With that being said, I hope you. Uh, well, honestly, I'm not even gonna say. I hope you enjoyed the video. This video was disgusting, and it was kind of sad. So I'm. Um, we're gonna skip that part. But yeah, if you want more content like this, like and subscribe. Give me your thoughts down below. I am curious what other people think about this. And I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day.